boys and girls, today's story is Whiffy Wilson. There was a wolf called Wilson who never brushed his hair. He never washed his paws or face or changed his underwear. His fur was full of beasties. He had fungus on his toes. He ate his dinner with his paws, then wiped them on his clothes. Have a bath, his mother cried, or you can't go out to play. No way, growled Whiffy Wilson, and then he ran away. He found a pile of coal sacks and made himself a bed. I'll be as wild as wolf should be until I'm all grown up. Then he poked his finger up his nose. He was a mucky pup. Early in the morning, Whiffy Wilson heard a noise. It was Dotty Wilson's favourite friend, looking for her toys. Ew, what a stink, cried Dotty as she rummaged in the shed. Eek, she shrieked, a monster, snoring in its bed. A monster yelled, where? yelped Wilson, leaping in the air. It's you, you trick, said Dotty. You gave me such a scare. I'm not a monster, Wilson whined, as he scratched his hairy belly. I'm only living here because my mum says I'm too smelly. We'll soon fix that thing, Dotty, and she marched him down the path. Up the stairs she dragged him and plonked him in the bath. She poured in steaming water and scrubbed him with a mop. Get off, let go, whined Wilson, but Dotty didn't stop. She squirted him with pink shampoo and rubbed it on his snout, then pulled a nick comb through his fur and scraped his earwax out. She cut his filthy toenails and rinsed out all the scum. She brushed his stinky rotten teeth and made him wash his face. That's better, Dotty smiled at last, hauling Wilson out. Then she wrapped him in a dressing gown and kissed him on his snout. She said, let's play outside. I'm making garden stew. Grab that stick and stir it up. Oh, what a smelly brew. They made a mudslide down the hill. They swung from tree to tree till Wilson gasped, Oh, Dotty, we're as grubby as can be. Well, this dirt shows we're having fun. It's good dirt, Dotty said. We can wash the mud and grass stains off before we go to bed. The bad dirt is the kind of stuff that's germy, gross and grotty. It's those horrid germs that make you smell and make you ill and spotty. That's just perfect, Wilson beamed. Being mucky is all right, as long as I can have a bath and wash it off at night. So Wilson learned the difference between bad dirt and the good. He started washing twice a day, like every good wolf should. His parents were delighted and how the story ends is with Wilson feeling lucky, having such a clever friend.